So I can remember um, as a teenager um, having an incredibly difficult day. I was upset, I was crying, and I remember a teacher, um, someone who I really trusted, really admired, scolding me for how I was feeling. There really are people who don't believe what I go through is okay or real. And I didn't feel safe on any level for many years to ever open myself up um, to that type of rejection again. There's this sort of fear of that, this fear of being found out, this fear of living a life that you're afraid people will only see what they deem wrong. And they'll completely discount, discredit, disrespect the sum total of who you are. One of the greatest sources of support um, came from my husband. We have three very small children and I'm an at-home mom and I am in this loving, wonderful relationship and yet I can't get out of bed. But he really rose to the occasions. He really wanted to make sure that I didn't experience barriers like I had in the past. He had become an advocate for me. And not only an advocate, but a, a cheerleader. He was always telling me I was worth it. And that support is in love. What in the world does this now say about my relationship with God? I got a lot of messages via the pulpit that uh, mental health was not okay. Um, it was probably the direct result of some type of sin I had committed and hadn't dealt with properly. Um, or it was, it was demonic. <laughs> Being an African American, you're faced with many challenges every day. There's there's sort of this design there that, that keeps you saying, you know what, I, I I have to always show up with my A game when when I know that there is already a, a great deal of misunderstanding about mental health and, and yet being African American with a mental health challenge is a challenge within itself. Just to consider that God has chosen me for this. What would happen if I accepted it, lived my life in a way that encouraged entire communities to not leave another woman having to piece together wholeness for herself, that their life matters and their mind matters.